Hey guys, it's Andy here from NJ Bass Fishing, and I'm just going to make a quick video on my tackle and how I store it and whatnot. Uh, this is just like a little cubby divider type thing. I have my boxes up there, my tackle bag. I usually keep the rod I'm using right there. And then I got the line. I have three cubbies of line right there. In the middle is where I keep my tackle. And then over here, this one right here is hooks. And that has everything to do with my reel, like the box that came in, a cover, and some oil and stuff like that. So I'll take it out and show you all my tackle, so stay tuned for that. Alright. Okay guys, so we're back here. First off, this is my tackle bag. It's just a plain old tackle bag. It's got one big zipper pocket in the front. And it's got another zipper pocket on the side. And it's got this big main compartment in there. That's where this bag actually came with. The tackle boxes I'm about to show you, which are four plain out 3600 boxes. So I'll show you what's in each one. First box here, I just have a tackle warehouse sticker on it. We got mostly uh, soft plastic worms here. We got assorted, assorted Sankos and stuff like that. Here's some Konami. Konami bait Sankos. And these are June Bug 7.5 inch ribbon tails. And these are 7.5 inch watermelon black flake ribbon tails. And then here is the bag of assorted worms. Pink Senko in there. Some plain trick worms and other stuff. And there's a fluke in there for some reason. So that's, that's that box. I don't really like having my soft plastics in boxes. I'd rather keep them in the bag, but I'll probably switch that around for next season. But that's number one. Next, we got another soft plastic type box. And here we have some, I believe there's like Bass Pro Shops brand, like weird swim baits. I almost, I never use those, but I might give them to my brother or something. But here's some Berkeley Havoc Pit Bosses. I like these as. Actually, I like these as the black and blue jig trailer sometimes. I'm trying to go for that bigger profile. And I also just like texture rigging these and flipping them around like trees and whatnot. And here we have two times of flukes. We have a zoom super fluke in an albino color, the white. And we have a. These are just the plain flukes in baby bass. And then here we have some baby brush hogs. I almost never use these. I, I still don't like the full pack of them in there. I, I basically never use them, but yeah. And then these, I have no idea what I was thinking when I bought them, but they're like four inch lizards or three inch lizards or something. I don't know. They're like so light, I can't really do anything with them, but I just have them in there. And then there's a random hook in here. I don't know why it's in there. And I just have these empty compartments I'm not doing anything with right now. Toss that box. Then this is my top water box. I don't have that much top water, but here we have an old school popper style bait. Uh, three hooks, kind of pop. It pops. Here, head and zero spook fire tiger color. And here, black head and zero spook. Here's my one only frog. I had a copper's life target, but I snapped it off in the middle of the lake. Like, I don't know. But, so I just got this Spro bronze eye popping frog. I cut the legs down, make them shorter. Bent the hooks out a little bit. I like this frog a lot. It's nice and soft. Then I just have a jerk bait in there for some reason. I think it only goes in on like one foot, so I just put it in there because it's really shallow. And then here I have two buzz baits. I have a white booyah buzz bait. I put one of those baby bass fluke trailers on there. This works good. I caught a lot, like caught about six, seven fish on this so far, and I only got it like a month ago. So I like this one. And then this one I got a long time ago. I don't really use that much. It's just a white and shark juice kind of buzz bait. It's all right. I might have caught like one or two fish on here. But so yeah, it's the top water box. And here is one of my favorite boxes. This is my hard baits, my jigs, and my rattle traps and whatnot. I'm gonna, 
for Christmas I'm gonna get a whole new set of boxes and all that and rearrange everything but and have everything have its own box but for right now my jigs and my rattle traps and stuff are just together in here those are my jigs we got uh, oh man these are two strike king jigs two black and blue strike king jigs uh, here's a another strike king jig peanut butter and jelly those are black and blue This one is another Strike King football head. It's like green and red and watermelon and all that. It's nice colors. I have just a pack of chunk trailer in there. That one works good. And then here's another Strike King, just flipping jig. Like plain green with an orange belly. And then I have uh, Baby Rage Girl on there as a trailer. This one works good. Here's another one of that same green and orange belly. And these jigs, these are crappy Walmart jigs that really are not worth buying at all. The hooks rust, bad paint, just really not good jigs. And then these, these are tiny little bitsy boot, bitsy, bitsy bug jigs from Booyah. They're like, I don't even know how much they weigh, probably an eighth of an ounce or something, I don't know. But tiny little jigs. Those are more for finesse and whatnot. So, let's put these all back here. And here, I kind of organize this so I have all my natural colored crankbaits here. Like here's a Strike King. Uh, I don't know. What, I don't really know the rest of the brands. There's some Rapalas in there. I know that's a Strike King. And then all my bright colors and Fire Target ones are in here. It's like a jointed rattle, uh, jointed shad wrap. Some big, like, big old, pretty deep divers. Some lipless in there and whatnot. Here's just a broken spinnerbait. Maybe get rid of that, but yeah. So that's it for these four boxes. Now these I'll go into terminal tackle right now. So I keep all my terminal tackle. I keep all the hooks and stuff and whatnot. I keep them in the plastic packs they come in, and then I just put them in this Plano 3400 waterproof stowaway box. It's a small box. You can see my hand pretty much covers it, but it's perfect perfect size for what I use it for. I got all my hooks in here. Let's see, we got these are owner cutting point three odds and some straight shank gamagatsu's in there too. I mean, not straight, but not they're not wide gap. They're just regular offset hooks. Um, these are a bunch of three odd wide gaps, a bunch of shaky heads in there, all kinds of companies and weights and whatnot. And we got some gamagatsu four odd. Super line spring lock hooks for my swim baits. Bunch of uh, bunch of five aught red hooks, Gamagatsu. Bunch of three aught owner wide gaps, and then just a lot of hooks in here. You got five aughts. These this is a bag of worm weights, but it has like old school hooks in here too. Like I don't know, my dad gave me these. I don't really use them that much though. These are four aught wide gap more 5 out wide gap and these are all 4 out and 5 out wide gap I'm going to take them all out but there's like a bunch of packs in there so that's that and then I keep all my drop shot stuff in this old power bait container it's just cleaned out I'll just dump them out here quick got a bunch of like wacky hooks and circle hooks and little finesse hooks and I got my got my drop shot weights and stuff and I don't really drop shot that much, but I have the stuff to do it if I ever want to. Put that back in. Yeah, so that's that. This is my drop shot stuff. Now, sh this is my soft plastics. I keep them all, I keep most of them. The stuff that's not in that box over there, I keep in the bags and I keep them in this, this, what brand is this? This is sterile light it's just a just like a uh, it's just like a container like this but so this top it comes off and then I keep all my bags of soft plastics in here got some Kitex wheeling impacts the four inch like I like to drop shot these they're not really good as swim baits because they're kind of small and light but I like to drop shot those got some rage cross 
striking race tails. Uses a jig trailers. Reaction Innovation Skinny Dipper. Love these. They work really good in my pond that I fish at. These are Z Man, the Elias Tech Crawls. I don't really like these, but I just have a pack of them. They're in green, pump, and orange. Got 20 pack of Zoom Twick Worms, 7 inch in motor oil color. They're, they're, those are the original, the super salty. Then these are the Big White Baits Warmouth and Pumpkin Seed color. And then these are the three and three and a quarter inch chunks in watermelon red seed, in watermelon seed red flake. I use these as jig trailers too. Kind of, I like these better than the baby rage cross. Then we have these five inch swimming jerk minnows by Big Bite Baits, watermelon red ghost. These are great. They work really good. I caught some fish on them the other day. Then these are the ten inch B two curly tail worms. In watermelon red magic, I like the Texas rig. These like a five out hook and like an eight ounce weight. That works really good. And then, then these are my big white baits. These are the Crete tail worms, six inch, June bug pump, uh, green pumpkin June bug color. They work really good. And these are bio bait four inch crawl tubes. Uh, what color is that? That's watermelon orange green. A lot of flake in there. Really good color. I like those. And then here's just big white baits, Sankos, the trick sticks, and watermelon red flake, five inch. So that's all my tackle. Uh, I got a rod. I have a Dobbins rod coming in the mail. Once I get that, me and my fishing partner John will do our uh, rod and reel arsenal video. So stay tuned to that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.